countdown is on until Election Day, hours away from the polls opening across the state and across the country. When the polls open bright and early tomorrow, knowing where to go and what you need to bring is, of course, critical. Grant Herms joins us tonight with a step-by-step -step guide on how you should plan your visit to the polls tomorrow. Grant? Hey, good evening. Now, your plan doesn't have to be extensive, but you should have a plan. So we wanted to break down the big things to think about before you leave home and head to the polls tomorrow. The plan starts at home. Make sure you know your polling place. You can find that by going to our local four voter guide or the Secretary of State's website. Just put in your info and it'll show you where to go. It's also a good time to get your pens together, blue or black or even a black Sharpie. If you're using your ID, make sure you've got that. And if you're using a sample ballot, you've already marked for reference. There's also a lot of free options to get to your polling place tomorrow. The rideshare app Lyft is giving 50% off rides if riders use the code VOTE22. Mogo Bikes giving free ride passes on its app and at its stands. Lime Scooters also giving two free rides up to 15 bucks and Smart Bus fares will be free. Once you're at work, it's a good time to talk to your boss about leaving work to vote. By law, employers can't prevent you from voting or force you to vote on your lunch break, but it's good to work out a plan so everyone is happy. A voting plan for election day to save time and make sure you cast your vote. Now one more thing to think about the forecast. We know from a lot of studies that the forecast can actually change turnouts. So Kimberly, you're going to want to grab that light jacket tomorrow. Nobody wants to stand in the cold. Back to you. Okay, Grant, we appreciate it.